Center Mall here in downtown Indianapolis, but Inside Indiana Business has more details about the renovation. renovation. Good friend of the uh, show, Gary Dick, is in studio today about the uh, topic, and uh, good to see that you've got the uh, the purple memo. We got the purple matching ties <laughs> on. So that's that great. Going nice, yeah. going. So, what have you learned about Circle Center yeah. Mall, and is this going to help what appears to be a mall that could be struggling? That's that's a big question, Scott. That everyone wants to know the answer to. As you know, nearly 25 years ago, when the mall opened, uh, it really was viewed as a savior for downtown Indianapolis, and has been a catalyst uh, for the renaissance that's taken place downtown. But in recent years, certainly the mall has struggled. Uh, loss of a number of tenants, including most recently Carson's and Anchor Tenant. There you see some renderings from a multi-million dollar uh, renovation uh, plan unveiled this week. The question is, will it take more than just sprucing up the mall to make it work? Bill French, a retail expert with uh, Cushman and Wakefield, talked about that on the show and some potential solutions. First level of the Carson space, certainly I'd love to see a new retailer coming in selling suits and ties, but that's just not necessarily what's going to happen. I could really see this being divvied up for three really top-notch restaurant operations not doing business in Indianapolis today. Mm -hmm. Could drive a lot more foot traffic and a lot more sales volume out of the mall. Upstairs, we could see office, we could see a multi-family component. Could be condos, could be apartments, even possibly a hotel. Will be interesting to see it play out. The hotel is an interesting concept. Sure we'll is. Talk, uh, talk more about that yeah. on the show this week. Okay. You also have this.